Here we are, Kings Beach, California. I'm Austin Harrington. Thanks so much for joining us. To my left, I have Joel Avery from the Bear League here in North Lake Tahoe. So thanks for joining us. It's summer, the bears are out, wildlife is out. What do we have to do to stay safe from the bears, but also bear safe? <laughs> Well, thank you for having me, Austin. Uh, this is one of our main objectives is education and empowerment of the local communities around Tahoe and Truckee. Uh, right now, one of the main things that we're trying to tell people is to keep your doors and windows closed um, and locked. A screen door is great, and right now, of course, it's hot. It's great to keep the house cool, but the only thing that it keeps out is birds and mosquitoes and flies. It will not, a screen door will not keep out a bear. So when you leave, even some people, when you're at home, you might wanna close and lock your doors at that point too, but definitely when you leave, close and lock your doors and windows all the way. Bears are very smart, and just like humans, they can open doors and latches and all that kind of thing. Right, and that garages too, right? They can go through the garage, they can go through the front door, the window happens. Absolutely. And that goes for cars too. A lot of times people will leave their windows cracked or leave their doors unlocked in their car because they think if the bear gets in then they can get out. Well usually what happens in this case and I've been on many calls like this where a bear gets trapped in a car because the car starts rocking the door closes behind the bear and then the bear tries to dig out and then we have a major totaled car on our hands. Uh, the third thing I wanted to mention is that right now we're in peak season for bears being seen on and around our roadways around Tahoe. So the best thing to do is just like with everything else stay alert keep scanning and go the speed limit both daytime and nighttime and if you see a bear that you think is in danger of getting hit to absolutely call the bear league awesome um, what are some things that we can do we know that you're all volunteers how can we volunteer our time and help the bear league uh, like I said calling us is the best thing we can do uh, for anything other than a sighting anytime a bear is close to a road or a crowd uh, we can call the bear league the other thing to do is just to remove the food source and uh, you know just like if your favorite restaurant closed you'd stop going back to it so if we take away the food source that includes dog food and trash and all those things then the bears will stop coming around and that's how you can help us the most awesome and for tourists coming up and visiting the area what's the number one when you see a bear the number one thing is to enjoy it and then chase it away if it's near your neighborhood great awesome Austin Harrington here in North Lake Tahoe again once with Joel Avery from the Bear League you can look down below see the website see online contact them Get involved, stay focused, stay smart, have a great day.